Numbers chapter 8. And the Lord communicated with Moses, delivering this message. Speak to Aaron and instruct him, When you kindle the lamps, let the seven lamps cast their light forward from the lampstand. And so Aaron carried out the command, lighting the lamps in the manner the Lord had directed Moses. The crafting of the lampstand was a meticulous process, fashioned from beaten gold, from its central shaft to its ornate blossoms, crafted according to the precise design that the Lord had revealed to Moses. And so, the lampstand was created. Again, the Lord spoke to Moses. Select the Levites from among the Israelites and purify them. This is how you shall purify them. Sprinkle them with the water of purification. Have them shave their entire bodies, wash their clothes, and cleanse themselves. Then take a young bull with its grain offering a fine flour mixed with oil, and another young bull for a sin offering. Present the Levites before the tent of meeting, and assemble the entire congregation of Israel. Bring the Levites before the Lord, and have the Israelites lay their hands upon them. Aaron shall then offer the Levites as a wave offering before the Lord, on behalf of the Israelites, that they may carry out the work of the Lord. The Levites shall lay their hands on the heads of the bulls, and you shall offer one as a sin offering and the other as a burnt offering to the Lord, to make atonement for the Levites. Position the Levites in front of Aaron and his sons, and present them as a wave offering to the Lord. This is how you shall set the Levites apart from the Israelites, and the Levites shall be mine. Afterward the Levites may enter to serve at the tent of meeting. You shall purify them and present them as a wave offering. For they are wholly given to me from among the Israelites. Instead of the firstborn of every Israelite, I have taken the Levites for myself. For all the firstborn among the Israelites belong to me, both man and beast. On the day I struck down every firstborn in the land of Egypt, I consecrated them to myself. And I have taken the Levites as a substitution for all the firstborn of the Israelites. I have given the Levites as a gift to Aaron and his sons from among the Israelites, to perform the service for the Israelites at the tent of meeting and to make atonement for the Israelites so that no plague will strike the Israelites when they approach the sanctuary. Moses, Aaron, and the entire Israelite community acted in accordance with all the Lord had commanded Moses regarding the Levites. Thus, the Israelites treated the Levites accordingly. After their purification, the Levites washed their clothes, and Aaron offered them as a wave offering before the Lord. Aaron made atonement for them to cleanse them. Then the Levites went in to perform their service at the tent of meeting before Aaron and his sons, just as the Lord had commanded Moses concerning the Levites. So they carried out their duties. The Lord spoke again to Moses. This is the responsibility of the Levites. From the age of twenty-five and upward, they may enter to participate in the service of the tent of meeting. At the age of fifty, they shall retire from performing the service and shall serve no longer. They shall assist their fellow Levites in the tent of meeting, attending to their duties, but they shall not engage in the regular service. Thus shall you instruct the Levites regarding their duties, 